Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the property card options. The property cards are displayed in the team properties lists and in this video you will learn how to change the property card type and how to customize your cards. You will find the property cards options in team options, so I will go to VP Residence Options. All settings can be found under Property Card Design section. I will start explaining the first section, Property Card General Settings. Here you'll have the option to change the property card type. You will have seven card types available. I will quickly show the card design on front end for each type. This is the default card type. This is the first card type, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, this is card type 6 and card type 7. Going back to team options, next I will explain the remaining options from this section. You will have property list display grid or list. Now the card is in grid style. I will select list and on refresh you will have the cards displayed in list style. The next option is to control the property title number of characters. By changing this value, the title in the card will change. Next, you'll have the number of characters to show in property card excerpt. This option will apply only for grid style and only for the cards that include excerpt element. The excerpt is the text shown here. The next option is for property card excerpt just for list style. Next, you'll have click and open property model Zillow. Currently, if you click on the property card, you will be redirected to the property page. But if you enable the Zillow style option, once you click the card, you will have the Zillow layout opened. Going back, you will have the option to set if the property will be displayed in a new window or not. If no will be selected, when you press the card, the property page will open in the same window. Going further, you will have the number of cards that will be displayed in the the page without a sidebar. Now it is selected to 3. This will apply for grid layout. So I will change the layout to grid and on refresh you will see that now we have 3 cards per row but if you change it to 4 on refresh you will have 4 cards per row. Going back here you can add a value for the minimum height of the property card. So if you want to increase or decrease the card height you need to add the value here. The last two options apply for the card type 7. In card type 7 you will have the call button. This is the one and you have two options for the call button. You can click on it and you will have this model with details. But if you want to make a direct call you need to disable this option. Here you can change the text that will show when the call button is pressed. These are all the settings from the property card general settings. Next I will go to property card image settings. Here you can enable the slider in the property unit and also you can select the number of images that will load in the slider. I will save these changes and show how this option works. You can see that now there are two arrows and you can scroll to see the property images. You will have three images loaded only because this is the setup that I made. Going back to team options, you have add placeholder image. This will replace the team default image that will show for properties that do not have any images assigned. Going to the next section, you will have property card content composer. Here you can choose the details that will show in property cards. The settings here will not apply for the card type 5. This is the card type 5 and the settings made in the composer settings will not apply here. Going back, first you need to enable the composer settings. In the next section you can choose the elements that will be visible in the property card. I will save the changes as they are now with all elements visible. I will refresh the page here. All elements are visible and now you can move in the disable box the elements that you do not want to show. So I will disable the price, the contact row and the address row. I will save changes and now on refresh I will have only the elements that I left in the visible section. Under property card details row you will have the option to add custom fields. You can add a label, an icon, an image. Here you will need to 
select the field that you want to show in the card i will choose property size you need to choose if you want to display a label an icon or an image i will only add a label i will select another field property lot size i will add an icon you can copy the code of any icon from front awesome so i will go to font awesome site go to icons i will look for a random icon and i will copy the code of this icon i will add the code here i will add only the font awesome code i will also select a third field which will be the property rooms to add an image for the property rooms you need to press the upload button you can select an image from media or upload one from your device i will select a random svg icon for this field now i will save changes and now in my card i have the size with the text label that i added i have the lot size with the icon that i added and i have the number of rooms with the image going back you will have the option to add five custom fields in your cards next you will have settings for the property card address row if you select it to show i will add it back here you can manage the elements that will show for address i will leave only address and disable the rest of them i will save the changes made and now on refresh i will have the address line but just the actual address will show for the last option in this section you will have property card categories row and you will be able to disable category type or property status i will leave only category and save changes and now on refresh in this line you'll have only the category the type and property status will not show going back to team options i will go to the next section property card agent section here you will have the option to display or not the agent row to show or not the agent image and to show or not the agent name now the card will show the agent image and the agent name this is the section that is controlled with the options described and now i will disable agent row now the section for agent will not show at all i will enable it back and disable agent image now only the agent name will be displayed and now i will enable back agent image and disable the agent name you can see that only the image shows and the name is hidden i am done with this section as well next i will go to property card composer extra settings here you can make settings for the cards layout you have options to set the font awesome icon size image size you have font control for your cards you have details row alignment image or icon position and you can set color for the icons show in the card going further to the next section you have show high details here you can disable elements that are visible in the cards you can disable compare button share button favorite button these are the three buttons this is share favorite and compare you can disable them and you can disable property status labels and property featured label this is the property feature label and this is the property status label i will disable them just to show how this works and now on refresh i will not have featured label or status label and also i will not have the three buttons here going back to team options next you will have the last section property card design beta in this section you can create your own card you will need to enable this option and here you can add the elements that you want to show in your cards these are the settings for the properties card design this wraps our video thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to get instant notifications on new videos